Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint animal eyes with watercolors. I'll be showing how to paint the eyes of a bald eagle and of a lynx. The techniques and steps are pretty similar for each animal. The main difference is just the colors used and the cat has a bold outline around its eyes. To paint this eye, I'll be using a wet on dry technique and a small paintbrush. I'm applying my yellow ochre paint to the top portion of the eye first. After adding some color, I'll dip my brush into water and blend it out. Next, I'm going to add some sap green to the eagle's eye. I'm adding some extra water to lighten the paint. Here I'm using a slightly larger brush to blend things. As you can see in the photograph, the eagle's eye is pretty light. After the first layer dries, I'm going back in with another layer of yellow ochre. I'm just painting in the colored portion of the eye. We'll get to the pupil later. I'm also leaving two round dots here. These white dots will be the highlights of the eye. Here I'm blending out the paint a little. The next step is to start outlining the eye. I'm outlining with raw umber. I'm just carefully tracing my pencil lines here. In order to make an eye look more realistic, you want to be darkest at the top of the eye and have it get lighter towards the bottom. So here I'm adding more raw umber and gently blending out the color into a gradient. Now let's continue this line. Like with most watercolor painting, you want to start with your lighter layers first and build up the value. Now dip your brush into water and blend things out a little. I'm adding a very light layer of raw umber on the edge of the eye here. This eagle has some yellow skin around its eye, so I'm painting that in with cadmium yellow paint and my number zero brown brush. After I get a nice base layer of color, I'll be adding in some burnt sienna. Using a small brush dipped into water, I'm blending things out a little.
a few little marks with raw umber. Now let's go back to the inner eye. I'm painting small marks inside the eye. To lighten them a little, I'm adding some clean water on top of the lines. Now we'll need to add our darkest color. This here is Payne's Gray. I have the paint pretty saturated so it appears black. Add that to the outer edge of the eye and to the pupil. Keep filling in the pupil using a small brush. Let's trace some of those lines of gray. And some more small marks of raw umber paint. On the outside of the eye, there are some marks as well. These ones are painted with burnt sienna. Now that the eagle's eye is complete, I'll be demonstrating how to paint the lynx's eyes. For the lynx, I'll start by applying yellow paint directly to dry paper. I'm starting with a more saturated amount of color than I do with the eagle because the lynx has darker eyes than the eagle did. After applying yellow paint, I'll be using a smaller brush and adding burnt sienna to the top portion of the eye and around the edges. I'm just outlining my pencil lines I created earlier. I'm adding a small amount of color to the inside of the eye as well. Next, I'll repeat these steps on the other eye. Here, I'm blending out the burnt sienna a little by dipping my brush into clean water and pulling the color out into a gradient. After blending things out, the color got lighter because of the extra water added. So now I'll be adding more burnt sienna.
I'm adding more layers of paint inside the eye, but I'm not going to perfectly blend these lines out. The uneven color represents the reflections in the eye, as well as the different flux of color. After getting most of the color down and inside the eye, I'll start adding Payne's Gray for the pupil and for the dark pattern around the outside of Lynx's eye. I'm adding the color to the outside diameter of the eye and to the pupil as well. I'm using short brush strokes to make it look like there are small hair marks there. I'm using a very saturated amount of paint for this process, so the color should appear almost black. While I paint the pupil, I'm making sure to leave white dots to represent the eye reflections. I have this lower portion of the eye outlined. Now I'm just going to fill it in completely with my gray paint. Now I'll be repeating these steps on the other eye. While painting the pupil of the links, I accidentally filled in one of the white highlight marks, but I have a method of bringing them back if that accidentally happens. For highlights and for whiskers, I like to use an opaque white ink to paint them in. You have to be careful not to add too much, but it turns out pretty nice if you get it right. Here's the ink that I use. I have used other white inks before, but you have to make sure you get the opaque kind. 
So that's about it for the eyes. I think eyes can look pretty complicated at first, but if you break things down into small steps, it's actually not too bad. And then here's the final results of those paintings. The full tutorial for the eagle will be on my Patreon account, and as for the links, I kind of just painted that for myself, so I don't have a tutorial for it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Have a great day.